when I sit and say to myself sitting I have to do a quick body scan at least of my legs and spine in order to really know that I'm indeed sitting isn't that quick body scan somewhat contrary to a one-pointed mind is one label really enough uh, you don't really have to do that I, I would say it's not really the object or, or exa not exactly proper meditation it's much more forceful you could in the beginning and you could say that it's it's at least um, calming the mind down or focusing the mind because remember nothing none of that's wrong in tranquility meditation if your purpose is simply to calm the mind you can force it push it knead it mold it uh, into shape it, it, concentration meditation is not for the purpose of cultivating insight so in a sense we can use that at least in the beginning and so a meditator in vipassana meditation might um, calm themselves down by doing these body scans uh, by, by just knowing that they're sitting but in vipassana meditation the point is not the sitting sitting is a description of those feelings that you have and so the fact that you're aware of the tension in your back or the pressure on the floor at that moment when you say sitting that's enough you know, you're aware of that experience and you call that experience sitting so it's, it's, it's simply important to recognize this is a physical phenomenon. It's not so important to be aware that this is a sitting posture. Put your mind on the whole body, the entire body, and say to yourself, sitting. The recognition that that is a sitting posture comes um, comes on its own and, and, and comes unexpectedly. It's the, um, the sanya part the recognition that this is sitting. Sanya is impermanent and so what you're seeing that leads you to say that you, you, know, you have to do this in order to, to, you have to push it in order for it to come is that it's non-self. It doesn't come automatically. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it, you immediately know that you're sitting. You recognize, oh, this is a sitting posture. Sometimes you look and look and then there's no bing, this is sitting. You just never are aware that it's sitting. This is because it's not self. You can't force yourself to know that's what you're seeing. And so that is the whole purpose of practicing. And uh, that's what you're going to find. You're going to find that um, sometimes you are aware of the feeling, sometimes you're aware of this feeling, sometimes you're aware of that feeling, sometimes you're aware of the recognition of the feeling or putting it together as sitting, sometimes you're not. And that's the point of the practice, not to perfect it. You see, this is key, and this I, I did a video on this that I think is most important, one that we should emphasize again and again, that this is often people... Often meditators, very often, you come to the conclusion that they're practicing incorrectly or they're unable to practice because, specifically because they're seeing what we want them to see. They're seeing impermanence, they're seeing suffering, they're seeing non-self. So I would say um, much more important is the practice than, than perfecting it. Perfecting it's not going to happen, not in insight meditation.